hello 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 anyway this is a Moses so today as I was driving to work I hit this long stretch of road and I, when I look ahead there's no car ahead of me when I look behind there's no car and something struck my mind and I'm like you know we human beings love love to hear from successful people you know, if Barack Obama showed up today, you know, in a certain auditorium, everybody will be eager to listen to that man. Why? Because he is successful and we want to hear from this successful man. If Bill Gates showed up today, everybody wants to hear from this man because he is successful. But is that really the case? Well, I know, we all want to know how this man climbed the ladder. But what about you? What about me? So, and then, it drove me back to 15 years ago when I was in high school. You know, I wasn't the top student. I wasn't the best student. You know, out of 50 students, I would be maybe number 47. The best I did, maybe number 36. And I'm like, hmm. But there's one thing, though. There's one positive note in my life. I remember in this high school, you know, we used to go to have evening devotions. And some, some guys would rise up every evening before we start our preps uh, or evening preps. They, we had a devotion. Somebody had to read a Bible and we pray. Beautiful high school. Good, good moral school. We had good morals. I mean, it's, uh, I mean not good morals. We had good uh, culture in that school. And, you know, sometimes some guys would rise up and read the Bible and people are just talking. Nobody is paying attention. But I don't remember any day that I rose up and said something and people were making noise or people weren't paying attention. Even if they weren't paying attention, they were not making noise. They were not interrupting me. I remember when I was in Kenya Institute of Math, Mass Communication, anytime I was in a Christian union, if I stepped up to say or to give my testimony or read a scripture, people would listen. People would look at me and pay attention. And sometimes after that, people would compliment me. Like, you, you are a strong man of God. I see you are somebody. You know? And even in, uh, I remember the set books in high school. There was a book, Kitubwa Kimengia Mchanga. People used to call me Muswahili. But I, and I, whenever I stepped up, to talk or speak in Swahili, people would pay attention. Even if I, sometimes even if I don't know what I'm saying, but people would still pay attention. And, you know, it makes me wonder, why? But today, I came to realize, you know what, I found an answer. I found an answer because I realized that showed me that despite not me being the top student, despite not being the smart, smartest cookie in the jar, you know what? There's still a sense or a sign of life in me. There is a sign of life in me that there is something special in me. There is something small that I can use in my life. There is something little that that breathing thing, that little blooming thing in me that I can use in my life. And that can help me be successful. So sometimes we're looking up to other people to show us that sign of life in us. But you know what? You know, when, when there's a, a building, or let's say a building fell down, or there's uh, or a building, uh, for example, the bombing in, in, in uh, the violence in Ukraine, you know, when the building goes down, the rescue team will show up no matter what. Even if they know 
the chances of finding a human being there or somebody alive there is very slim. But they show up. You know why? They want to see the little moving hand, moving hand, moving arm, or somebody screaming for help. And you know what? You are the rescue team in your own life. So dig deep and see. You will realize that there's that little sign of life in you. No matter what, I'm not talking into your face. I need to understand this. Don't always look outside or wait to hear from successful people in order for you to have something going on. I know we are all focused on finding a job. You know, but you know what? You need that job. I know you need that job. You need money. But then how do you make that money? You need that little sign of life in you. You can be selling sweets. And you're good at selling it. You can be selling my choma. And you're good at doing it. You can be washing utensils. Utensils or dishes or dishwasher. And you're good at it. Because you know there is something. There is that little sign of life. That you can do something. You can produce something special. So it doesn't matter. It Whatever you come from. Your situation. You, 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 you feeling that you, like you're the rubble now you are the, you you've been buried under that rubble but you know what you still the rescue team in your life so please share this video with somebody tell them you know what there is a little sign of life in them it's just that they don't know so you have to dig deep because for me i realize you know what i can catch people's attention easy no, despite not being the best guy. So there is that little sign of life in you. Believe it, you can do it. Moses.